Let's take you now back to Clear Stop. Hasina, uh, it seems like uh, matters are getting worse there. Just give us a sense of what's happening. Desiree, uh, we are now on the other side of the road that we were when we last spoke, where as you can see, the community has now uh, regrouped. They're burning uh, tires and blockading this road inside this uh, specific extension uh, here in uh, Khakiso. Um, what they are calling for is right now uh, the police to leave the area to allow for uh, their um, protest to uh, continue. Um, what we're hoping, uh, what they're hoping for is that they're allowed to to continue with the demonstration. The Mokhali city uh, communities yesterday had called for a shutdown of the area in response to the illegal mining and illicit trade that has been happening in this area. They've been calling for an end uh, and for those that have been occupying and working in those mines uh, to uh, be removed by police. We know there's been sting operations ongoing, Desiree. We have unconfirmed reports that there is a shootout between police and the Zama Zamas in those abandoned mine dumps. Currently, we're trying to get more information on what exactly is going on in that area as well there's been sting operations ongoing since last week thursday following that horrific rape of the eight women in an abandoned mine dump while they were shooting that music video this has been now a response to this we've seen police now come onto the ground and search for those uh, who have been um, you know working in and living in those uh, co in in those abandoned mines the community here we, we've been speaking to for almost a week have said that they have um, been terrorized by these communities, that the criminality in their area has been ongoing for years, and that they've been asking police uh, to assist them, and, and they get no response or no uh, joy from uh, the policing area, saying that they're not safe in their homes. We've heard many, many different accounts from women here saying that they've been raped uh, by these illegal uh, immigrants. So far, we know 80 people were arrested, more than 80 people were arrested over the weekend. On Tuesday, when we went on that sting operation with the police almost uh, more than 40 people who we know will appear today as well at the Krugersdorp Magistrates Court who are also arrested we know yesterday as well there was more arrest done by the police today once again the police are back on the ground it's the police along with many uh, different um, task uh, um, forces uh, here uh, that have uh, been taken to the ground uh, to, to ensure that those abandoned mines are now rehabilitated and cleaned out of those illegal activities that have been ongoing here in the community. Uh, earlier on, we saw police using rubber bullets and tear gas on this community to disperse uh, the protesting crowd. This has really angered them and they've uh, really uh, you know, shared their frustration, as you can hear behind me. Many of them saying that they don't want the police here, that they should not be fighting them at this instant. Um, Desiree, that's really the scene uh, that's currently ongoing. I'm going to ask uh, camera operator Tina to give us a sense of, of just what's happening here on the main road as well. This is the R20 here in Khakiso, um, where people are protesting uh, here, um, they're singing, they've, they've moved uh, to the main road uh, again, once again, police allowing them uh, to now demonstrate on that main road. Earlier on, they were dispersed. We saw some of them throwing rocks at police as well, uh, burning tires also. So that's just been the scene here uh, throughout this morning with many, many uh, sharing their frustration. Um, they're now marching back towards uh, the main road, saying that that's where they want to be. And the police should allow them to demonstrate they wanted a peaceful protest. Earlier on, you heard those community members uh, telling us uh, that, um, you know, all they wanted was to peacefully protest these issues. We've seen much, um, you know, uh, headlines and, and much attention given uh, to this situation. And, and the community in Khakiso and the West Rand as a whole has said that while that while that incident last Thursday was really traumatic, uh, they're happy that they now have been heard and they hope that this could see an end to the illegal mining in the area. That's it for me. Back to you in studio, Desiree. Seemingly matters are not uh, really uh, 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 getting better in Krugerstrop and Hasina will continue to bring us the latest there just in terms of responses from officials as well.